President Mohamed Buhari's leadership style has come under criticism from northern Nigerian elders. They gathered in the Adamawa state capital, Yola, for the lecture series in remembrance of Nigeria's former representatives to the United Nations, May Tamasuli. More in this report. Northern elders are here in Yola for a lecture series with the theme, Reorientation of the North. Among the speakers is a former executive secretary of the National Health Insurance Scheme, Professor Yusuf Usman. He admitted visiting bandits in forests in six states alongside Islamic cleric Ishaq Ahmed Gumi. His reason is that banditry requires a social and not a military solution. Professor Usman took his wife at President Muhammad Buhari for, according to him, having nothing to show for his seven years in office. I'm from Katsina, where the president comes from. Before this government came, we did not know what IDPs look like. Now a third of my state, the president's state, is under siege by bandits. Our capital city is filling up with IDPs. We never saw that. The president doesn't call to commiserate with us, doesn't speak about banditry. Listen to him. Each time he talks about insecurity, he talks about Boko Haram. Banditry is more difficult and more lethal to this country than Boko Haram. And I'll tell you why. Boko Haram is located in one place, the Northeast. Bandits are all over this country. I and Shegumi went and visited six states, deep into the forest, and met all the war commanders, exposing ourselves to risk, because we knew it was wajib. It is our responsibility and our duty. We are not going to wait for any government that comes and lies on propaganda and says, oh, they have been decimated, they have been this, we are going to take the war to them, or oh, kinetic magnetic magic, all that nonsense we found out was nothing but nonsense. Other northern elders also expressed worry over President Buhari's leadership style. We shouldn't pay attention to choosing leaders by, by ethnicity, because we have done so, we have failed willfully. We have elect, that was what we used in electing Buhari, and we have seen the result today. The government has failed thoroughly and totally. Nobody can come from Abuja or Lagos or even Washington that will secure northern societies if we don't go back to our traditional justice system where the elders are involved in justice, young people are involved in obeyance and military and community policy. We all knew how our societies were two decades ago. We cannot degenerate. We are all out. We are all out to ensure that we revive the glory of Nigerian students, particularly in northern Nigeria. Our students are being kidnapped rampantly. Our students are being taken away. Our schools are being closed on a daily basis. Skyrocketed increase in tuition fees. Skyrocketed increase in accommodation fees. Everywhere in Nigerian students are no longer the victimization, political victimization, sexual harassment in our campuses. It's everywhere. Groups of criminals have taken over over some parts of northwest Nigeria, causing mayhem with their mass kidnappings, rustling killings, and illegal taxation. They are collectively referred to as bandits, although some Nigerians are calling for them to be designated as terrorists. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.